All right, here's a quick walkthrough to show how to log into the admin area of a WooCommerce, I can't say it, WooCommerce uh, WordPress website and uh, do a couple things with the uh, product vendors. So you log in to the admin by typing wp-admin after the domain name and that takes you to a login screen where you log in with your credentials. Now that we're logged in, this is the dashboard that we see. All the navigation is on the left hand side and you'll see WooCommerce here and it has a little pop up right there uh, it tells us we have eight, eight orders pending and here's our WooCommerce products and it's telling us that uh, one is waiting review so um, and this is a commission information for the vendors you can see a list of vendors under the products you can see a list of all your vendors and this is the list of vendors uh, when a new vendor registers you have to go into their actual user account and make a modification. I'll show you how that works. Before I do that, let me just show you here under uh, WooCommerce. Um, you have your orders. You can set up coupons. There's some good reporting features, and there's a, a, a lot of settings, you know, to uh, get everything configured right. So let's assume there's a new vendor. Looks like uh, everyone's here. Let's look at the uh, user accounts now. If um, what you'll see, this is my test um, test account. When you're looking at the vendor list, I'll just set this to pending so you can see what uh, what'll stand out there for you. You'll see a pending vendor when a new vendor registers, and so you just have to go in and edit their account and change them to a vendor admin. Now there's also a vendor manager level so let's say one of your seed sellers wants someone else to do some web work for him but that he doesn't want to give him full access well then um, a vendor manager can just go in and add seeds only, add, add product only you know, seeds in particular on this website. So that's how the user management works when you um, receive orders you see them as processing and you just click the name here to view the order there's a Bubba six pack uh, once you ship it you can change it to completed you can add notes like tracking information here uh, you know, I know it on the product, and then once you're all done, you simply hit this update button up here to uh, make that change. Let's see, on the products, wanted to show you the. Um, I'm sorry, I know I'm jumping around here. This one product is pending, uh, so, you know, it's just for review. That's the way we have it set up. Uh, Christopher as a pending and we can just go in let's see where do we change that that is not where we change it I just did this oh save as pending oh we just hit the publish button here and that will be live on the website so that is live now. So we shouldn't see any, you know, it just shows in stock. So we're good there. So that's a quick overview. Um, I mentioned under the reports, there's our sales for yesterday, 500 bucks. Well, 320 and then uh, hundred dollars 
Okay, 320 on the 27th, $100 on the 28th, and $75 so far today. So that's where we're at. Alright, hope that helps.